Good morning, children. How are you? I hope that you are doing well. Welcome to Math 1, Quarter 2, Lesson 5 for Week 5. I am Teacher Janabel Ganek from Duli Elementary School, and I will be teaching you how to subtract one digit numbers with mean ones through 18. The learning competency of this lesson is visualizes, represents, and subtracts one digit numbers with mean ones through 18. And there are points that we have to know. The first one is what is subtraction? So subtraction is removing or taking away a number from another number. And there are three parts of subtraction. The first one is the minuend. It is the bigger number where another number is subtracted from. The second is the subtrahend, the smaller number to be taken away or removed. And the difference. It is the answer in subtraction. And there are methods in subtracting numbers. The first one is crossing out method. So, let us know how is crossing out method done. Let us read the problem. There are eight oranges in the box. Roy ate three oranges. How many oranges were left? So, how many oranges were, are there in all? Very good, there are 8 oranges in all. And how many oranges were eaten? Yes, there are 3 oranges eaten. So to know how many oranges were left, we will put an X to the number of oranges that were eaten. So let us cross out 3. 1, 2, 3. So let us now count the number of oranges that are not crossed out. So, how many oranges that are not crossed out? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. There are five. So, eight oranges take away three is five oranges. So, let us now write in another sentence. Eight oranges minus three oranges eaten equal to 5 oranges left wherein the mean when is 8 3 is the subtrahend and 5 is the difference and there is another way in writing subtraction sentence it is by writing first the mean when then the subtrahend and draw a line to show equal then the answer. So 8 oranges minus 3 oranges eaten is equal to 5 oranges left. So the mean when is 8, the subtrahend is 3, and the difference is 5. This time, let us learn another method or way in subtracting numbers. The first one a while back is by crossing out method. Now let us learn the second method. It is the counting backward method. So there are 16 stones. Ken threw away 7 stones. How many stones were left? So, how many stones are there in all? Yes, there are 16. And how many stones were thrown away? Yes, there are 7 stones. So, to know how many stones left, let us count 7 steps backwards from 16. So, let us now start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, at what number did we stop? Yes, it is at 9. So, the number we reach or we stop at is the difference. Let's now write in a number sentence. 16 minus 7 is equal to 
9 we're in 16 is the main one 7 is the subtrahend and 9 is the difference so it means that 7 steps backward from 16 is 9 so let us have one more example. Ken is holding 12 balloons and 7 balloons fly away. How many balloons are left? So how many balloons are there in all? Yes, there are 12 balloons. And how many balloons fly away? 7 balloons. So let us now cross out 7 from the 12 balloons. How many balloons were not crossed out? Oh, count! Yes, there are 5 balloons. So, 12 balloons take away 7 balloons is 5 balloons. So, let us now write in numbers and tens. 12 balloons minus 7 balloons is equal to 5 balloons. We're in... 12 is the mean when, 7 is the subtrahend, and 5 is the difference. Let us also solve the problem using counting backward method. From 12, let us count 7 steps backward. The number we reach or we stop at is the answer or the difference. So let us now count. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, what number did we reach? Yes, it is 5. So, 7 steps from 12 is 5. Or 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. Let us now write in a number sentence. 12 balloons minus 7 balloons is equal to 5 balloons. 12 is the main wind, 7 is the subtrahend, and 5 is the difference. So you can see that we can solve one problem in two different ways. And the two different ways that we have learned today is it is by crossing out numbers or by counting backward. So those are the two methods or ways in subtracting numbers with mean winds through 18. So now there is an activity prepared for you to do. You are to find the difference using crossing out method. And you are just going to choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your answer sheet. Number 1. 11 minus 5 is equal to blank. Is it A. 3 B. 5 C. 7 or D. 6 What is your answer? Write it on your paper. Number 2. 16 minus 4 is equal to blank. Is it A. 12 B. 14 C. 10 or D. 30 What is your answer? Just write the letter of the correct answer. Number 3. 18 minus 8 is equal to blank. A. 10. B. 5. C. 9. Or D. 7. Write the answer on your answer sheet. Number 4. 17 minus 7 is equal to blank. A. 9. B. 10 or C, 8 or D, eight, 7. What is your answer? Number 5. Anna has 10 vases. She used 6 vases to plant flowers. 
How many vases do you not use? Is it A. 4 B. 8 C. 1 or D. 10 Write a letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. And for your activity 2, you are to find the difference using the methods you learn. So refer to your module on page 12 to 13. And for your activity 3, find the difference using any method you have learned today. So refer to your module on page 13. And to assess what you have learned, answer the assessment on page 15. What you are going to do is to find the difference using the methods you learned in subtracting numbers. Just choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your answer sheet. And I will collect your answers when you submit your modules. So for the other activities, refer to your module and answer them all. Thank you for listening. Enjoy answering your activities. Good day ahead. Until next time.